a ring and a piece of rope. Hmm. We know it's not your everyday props that you would carry around with you, unless of course you want to take your shoelaces out and use a spectator's finger ring. Well, anyway, it's been a set piece in my close-up repertoire for over 14 years, and we're doing it right now. Hi, once again, my name is James, and welcome to another video in the series 30 Day Magic Challenge. This is day number... If this is your first time here, well, there always has to be a first time, right? And you want to enjoy our ever popular 30 day challenge with me, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything. So what can be done with a piece of rope and a solid ring? Hmm, let me think, a challenge? Ah, oh, yeah, magic. A seemingly impossible penetration of one by the other. One, a soft cordless piece of rope and the other, a three and a half inch chromium plated metal ring bought many years ago from a Chandler's. No, not he of friends fame. I wouldn't really want to use this ring as a part of a rigging on a yacht. Some of it may come loose, and here's why. One solid piece of rope with no joins. Not two pieces held together, one solid piece. With no magnets, no critch cratch, no Velcro, no super glue, nothing of any sort in any way, shape or form, one solid piece of rope. And one solid metal ring. Three and a half inches in diameter, or so I've been told. Not according to some midwives in the late 1990s, but there you go. And we're going to try and get the ring off the string without undoing the knot. Now, why would we do that? Well, because this is supposed to be a piece of magic. One solid piece of rope. I can hear the audience going, yeah. Yeah, so far, so what, right? Now the idea of obviously is then to get the ring back on the string, which is totally impossible. But as a magician doing this for over 14 years, I see that it can happen. Now, what we need is our pair of scissors. Shall I get my invisible scissors from my pocket? Shall I, shall I? No, I'll just snip it right there. Just snip it and the ring is off the string. Now we end up with two pieces. Oh, Cal surprise. Two pieces, wow, wherein before we just had one. And as I say, the ends have been turned in to stop them from fraying. It is just one solid piece. But as a magician, watch very carefully. Give it a magic blow. Like, really, that's supposed to do something? Oh, it's to accentuate and focus on the magic moment, <laughs> I guess. But as I said, one solid piece of rope. Now, with the ends turned in, soft core, no gaps, no critch cratch, no Velcro. So keep your eyes on the ends of the rope. Keep your eyes on the ends of the rope. Did I say keep your eyes on the ends of the rope? Yeah. Well, this reminds me of a bar that I was working in three years ago. <laughs> Not that the staff were there doing that. I was the one on the pole. <laughs> Needs must when the gigs don't come in. Anyway, one piece of rope. Watch the ends. I did say watch the ends. The ends go in my back pocket over there, which leaves one end over here and one end over there. And that's where the middle was all along. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people, is uh, the ring and rope. Using that ring, as I always say, came from a yachting supplier. Yes, a Chandler's. It gave me a solid piece of magic that I've used for literally over 14 years. I've never been one to purchase many props. Okay, like you, I've had my moments. I mean, we all buy stuff we haven't used. I'm guessing if you're a magician, you've done the same. So what does your magic drawer look like? Hmm? One of the weirdest comments I had from a spectator as to the diameter of the ring was in the late 90s from a, a midwife. Decorum prevents me from explaining that any further and hopefully decorum will prevent you from doing the same in any of your comments below. As said, we are running a mega competition to promote our channel. Transparency, people. Transparency. With some really huge and great prizes available. You may be thinking, sod it, I never win anything. Well, rest assured you will, as we're adding more prizes every few days. Anyway, time doesn't permit me to go into the all of it. Head over to jameshessler.com. There's a link in the description box below. Now, to watch more of our videos and enjoy what we bring, click on the videos over there right now. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.